What is up? My name is Liz and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, you are gonna love this. I went to all of my favorite stores this week and scored major, major vessels, antiques, and beautiful things that you're gonna be so excited to see. I also purchased some cool home decor from Amazon and I wanna share all of this with you. So if you're interested in seeing all of the goodies that I found, then just keep watching this video. I'm gonna start with categories of where I shopped so that way everything is in order. I'm gonna start first with my Amazon purchases and I wanna start with, you probably saw this on my Instagram, but I didn't get a chance to share it on video and I think that it's worthy of sharing on video because this is so cool and it is worth every penny and it's this wonderful paper mache vessel vase. So true story, I was impulsed to buy this because I was watching Arvin Alano talk about it in his Amazon favorites list that he posted on Instagram. And guys, if you don't know who he is, I'll link him down below. He's another amazing interior stylist um, with such wonderful taste. And he had this and a few other items that my heart was just exploding to buy. So I added this to cart and it came rather, rather quickly. And it's a paper mache vessel. And yes, it's what spurred me to make the paper mache video. Um, last week so if you haven't seen that video make sure that you watch it I show you exactly how to form these types of things and what clay to use and all of that good stuff so but this one is really sturdy and you can put um, really pretty branches in here I wouldn't put real flowers in here guys so FYI it's only meant for branches dried flowers um, because it's made of paper um, it will probably crumble and turn to mush if you tried putting um, water in here but I love the shape. It's very mid-century, just totally my vibe. And Second piece that I found on his list that I had to buy was this pedestal bowl. And I just really, really just love the color, the glaze. It looks way more expensive than what I paid. Again, this was also in the $20, $30 mark. Um, and it's by the brand called Bloomingville. And guys, if you haven't heard about Bloomingville, they have their own store within Amazon. So if you click on their name, you're able to see just loads of beautiful home decor. And I mean stunning vases and beads and pedestal bowls like this and other trinkets that you will just fall in love with. Um, another good shop that I wanna kinda turn you guys on to is Creative Co-op. Between these two, I, they might even be the same store with two different names, I'm not sure, but Creative Co-op has just as beautiful items for your home. You guys will thank me later. <laughs> Okay, another third purchase that I bought, this was not on Arvin's list, I had purchased this a few days prior. Um, it is this gray horse. This is made of some type of a loose side or some type of a hard plastic. It's very sturdy and very heavy. And I paid about $49 for it and I think that he's definitely worth the money. Um, it definitely feels nice and weighty. He's not flimsy or light. Um, he can act as a really good paperweight. He has like little um, little feet at the bottom so it doesn't slide off your surface and he has great detail too I don't know what it is but I'm into horses lately so <laughs> you guys know that I purchased the other one from Pottery Barn but I think he's really cool he adds a really nice element of interest other than all of the blobby abstract pieces that I have so it's kind of cool having him around okay moving on I found a couple of other things from Tuesday morning um, I don't normally shop at this store a lot because it is further away from my home, but when I'm in the area, I always make a pit stop there. And I happen to find just two pieces that I wanted to share with you. There are these wooden trays. And this is the same store that I purchased that really large wooden dough bowl that um, many of you have asked where I purchased it. And they are really known to have some unique wood pieces there. And this is, it says made in Mexico. I paid $14.99 for both of these. And currently, um, I bought these for holiday in mind, holiday tablescape in mind. So I plan on putting like dried fruit and um, serving pears or figs or, you know, just delicate little things in here. I love that they're all white. They have a really nice texture and they look beautiful against any tabletop you have whether you have a stone top wood top they just look beautiful um, currently right now since they're not in use I'm using them this way on my shelves and I just love 
using them as sort of like a backdrop and they add this really nice texture and they really pop against um, the wood shelves that I have. Okay, so that's it for Tuesday morning. I'm gonna start with what I purchased now from my local antique shop. And I wanna start with sharing these big, huge glass grapes that I found. Um, they're really heavy. It's a quite a workout here, but you see that they're yellow. I mean, I'm, I'm not a yellow girl, but I had to have these grapes because one, they're really, really on fire right now. Like they're trending right now. People love them. I think CB2 might sell them. I saw them in a catalog either. It's Crate and Barrow CB2. Um, they are displayed and they're, from what I remember, were sold out. So this is the this is the real deal, guys. These are legit, and I don't care for the color. And I was able to get a few dollars off. They were they were originally sixty dollars. She gave them to me for fifty dollars because I noticed a chip there. Now that kind of like led me to believe that perhaps this paint can come off, and underneath it's just a white glass ball. And so if I can get these white, I would be so happy. So if any of you guys know how to maybe soak these in some kind of solution, maybe paint thinner. I don't know. I don't want to destroy. Um, I don't know if they're stone or they're glass. See, the white part makes me think it's some kind of like a quartz in there. So nonetheless, if I can't get the paint off, I'm still super excited to have these. And I mean, for $50, this was a massive score. Okay, the next item I found is this gorgeous ironstone bowl. And I just love the color because it's sort of like that off-white, almost bone color shade and it's the right shape and just the right size. I really just love how it's a low profile bowl and um, I can use this for anything. Another cool mid-century um, piece I found is this walnut wood pedestal. I paid $4.99 for it. It's stamped solid walnut and from the Ozark walnut wear in Ozark, Missouri. So there you go. And I paid $4.99 for this. And I just, I really love it. It's very mid-century. Um, this is really pretty up on a shelf. I have it now in my kitchen and um, it makes just a really pretty um, entertainment kind of pedestal. You know, you can put like little nuts on here. You can put olives, you can put basically anything, but okay. So the next thing I found from that store is this um, vessel. And this is, it feels like it's metal. I don't know. Actually, I paid $10 for this, guys. So I got this vase and it seems like it's metal and it's probably a reproduction, but nonetheless, I loved it. I love the color, I love the shape. I love how it was already distressed with the black on there and it was, for $10 totally in my hands and at the register. I love these kind of things. And you guys always ask me, what do you do with all of these pieces? So just to let you guys know that you are always concerned as how I'm able to continue buying all of this stuff. One, I'm a photographer, so I do have a stock closet where I keep a nice organized section of you know bowls and vessels and things that I'm not using in the home. And second of all, I get bored a lot with the things that are in my home. So every now and then I go into the closet and I sort of swap things out. When I'm extremely just over something, I donate it or I give it away. So that is the science behind how I'm able to buy so much. I don't hoard my stuff, guys. I'm not a hoarder. You can see my house is just very minimal but I do, um, I do appreciate a lot of these pieces. So I use them for photography and I just change them back and forth whenever I feel tired. So that's usually just how it works. I'm gonna show you the group of these. These were all on one shelf and it's this beautiful pitcher. It's handmade pottery um, as well as this probably looks like the coffee and the creamer. Um, I'm trying to see if there is a name on here. Actually, I take it back. This is some really good pottery from Portugal. It has a name stamped on there that I cannot make out right now. Um, and this is a little matching sort of creamer. So I'm assuming this is for cream, uh, coffee and cream. And I just fell in love with the texture and the color of these and they are in mint condition. I paid 
three dollars and two dollars for these two and this was sitting right next to it it's not from the same company but this is the mug and this has a whole different name on it and this looks like it was probably done locally I'm not sure it's really nicely made and I kind of love how it just kind of mixed in with the other ones that I found and I paid I think 99 cents for this it's a handmade ceramic coffee mug so guys just yesterday I hit the mother load in vessel finding something about yesterday just really transformed this video because I wasn't even planning on doing this type of a vessel decor haul but because I found so many things I decided to just group all of this because for obvious reasons and you guys really love it so these things are still in bags I literally just got these yesterday I haven't even pulled them out the stickers are still on there and I'm about to pull them out and re-see them again for the first time since yesterday. All right, you guys, I just found a jackpot in pottery just now. I'm about to show you. I just literally walked in through the front door and just turned the corner and I see one, two, three, four pieces just sitting here. So when I entered the store, the first left turn I took, the shelves were there and one after another, after another, after another, they were just vessel, 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 vessel. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Like it was just perfect timing. A lot of you say, how do you find all of these things? Guys, it's just timing. It is absolute timing. There are some days I go in there and there is absolutely nothing, but it's very rare. I normally always find one thing that's a score. So I found this again with the yellow, but maybe, maybe that's a sign. Maybe I need to incorporate some color into my home. I plan on maybe doing something with this yellow. I paid $9.99. I don't know if you guys can see the grease pencil mark on there. And this is not like anything vintage. It's made from Pottery Barn, the Pottery Barn sticker and the price is on there. And I paid $10 and guys, I just love love the way that it looks pottery barn is a online um, home store and they have beautiful high quality furniture and home decor so if you haven't heard about potterybarn.com give them a look this is probably something from a few years back i've not seen this in stores in my time um, I'm assuming this is maybe from like early 2000s. So it is older, but it's just not like a vintage vessel or anything like that. This guy is a matching piece to it. I found this guy and I love the little handles on the side. And this one was 696, that's a weird number. But um, yes, and they're really heavy. I think they're made of terracotta underneath and they're just glazed to look old and vintage. Um, so I love this set guys, I really do. And I think they were marked really well. I got super lucky with these and I'm just curious now how to, how to transform these. Maybe that'll be an upcoming video. Maybe I'll do it on IGTV, I'm not sure. Um, nonetheless, I fell in love with the shape. So what I found is this really unique hand. It looks like it's a, uh, oh, there's a, there's a date on here, that's cool. I paid $3.93, again, an unusual number. And this is an unusual top. I don't know the purpose of this. If you guys know, let me know. This is kind of like a cookie jar, but then it's sealed here, so maybe you can put a candle on there. I don't know. Um, it's made in 1967. It's handmade by Vogue, V-O-C-K-E. So I don't know if that's a designer, um, who's known for his artwork I don't know but nonetheless this is a really beautiful piece of ceramic and I just love that it looks old I love that it's unique like I have no idea what this is um, but if you guys know what it is comment down below let me know so I know this looks just like the pottery barn one but it's not because it's not stamped pottery barn um, I found this other little jug handle vessel and this one looks like it's old, maybe not, I don't know. This was $3.93 as well, but I felt like it went really well with the other two. Um, and possibly the same person donated it because it kind of 
really matches. The yellow is a lot darker on this one. So, and it's not, doesn't have all of the, the distressing like the other ones do. So I know it's not the same. Um, and I know it's not Pottery Barn, but it goes very well with the others. It has a lot of that same kind of concrete look at the bottom. And this is just a really cool shape. I'm gonna have a lot of fun decorating this and putting little branches on there or sometimes just putting it up on my shelf. I just think it's adorable. I'm not crazy with the color. This might be another DIY project with um, a couple of the others. Piece is this guy. Now this one, I'm really happy to find. Um, this is really old, um, really old. I paid $6.96. And guys, I absolutely love the color and just the shape of this one. Oh, I'm so excited. This is my favorite one out of all of the ones that I found. Um, do you guys have a favorite? If you do, make sure you comment down below what your favorite vessel is so far. Lastly, my cute hubby found me this. He was on the other side of the store. He's like, hey, I think you'll like this. And I'm like, yes, I do. Put it in my cart. It's like painted to look like concrete, but this is um, a nice ceramic. It, I paid $2.92. This store has some weird numbers for prices, but I paid $2.92 for this, and this is glazed in white here, and it's just like a nice matte gray. Um, I just love the way that it looks. It's an unusual shape, and I love the colors. So this was a really nice score and a really good price too. Guys, this was a massive haul. That is all that I have for you guys this week. Um, my goodness, I am surrounded by a sea of vessels and pottery here and, and ceramics. Um, what a dream. This is just so, so cool. I can't wait to decorate these for the holidays and switch my decor up and take tons of pictures. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure that you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I tend to do a lot of these videos frequently. You guys tend to love them. I also do a lot of DIYs. So if you're interested in watching a lot of artsy and home decor videos, then I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this week and I'll see you in my next video soon.